when you can't, when you can't fight against the brain man. Because the brain we stimulate the brain by the words of God. So when you are trying to basically instill and install certain things in our human mind, corrupted fights, when they lead to corrupted fights, the devil are trying to basically stimulate your mind with corrupted fights. And you have to delete, 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 delete them. The vibration of the earth and the vibration of the white man have to get you down mentally, spiritually, and conquer your mind. And that way, him conquer your soul. And you have to stand up firm and strong like a real warrior. And war back. Read the Bible. Attain to the words of God and strengthen your mind. And the white man, the devil, have to flee. The spiritual devil and his counterpart, white man. This is a war on the mind. The whole world is a war on the fucking mind. And you have to mentally strong through Yahweh Bakshami Aushai because you can't make yourself strong. The spirit and the Lord have your work away. And you have to have that hope and you have to have that faith. The gift of faith from Yahweh Bakshami Aushai. Matthew 4 and 1 Then was the Aushai led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil and when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights he was after an hunger and when the tempter came to him he said if thou be the son of God command that these stones be made bread so the, the, the tempter basically I tried to get in the mind of the Lord and the Lord I reject the passage where the devil has seek. Reject him, reject him. The Bible says, reject the devil and he shall flee. And that we have to do right now. The white man and the spiritual devil basically a war against the mind. So you have to be spiritually strong enough in a hour of Shamel Shai to resist the devil and make him flee. But he answered and said, It is written. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Then the devil take him, take it him up into the holy city, and set it him on a pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou be the son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee. So basically, even the devil quote precepts, scriptures. Even the devil do that. Because the white man could praise the point of a child, tap in your brain. You have to do application when certain things to get applied and when it's not supposed to be applied. So we have to study all of them things that build by your mind power. Your mind power built on that. And you're gonna be powerful. And even the devil ever look on and say, yo, yes, this man's strong in the Lord. Even your enemy, I go admit that fuck. Even if them not come along and confess it out and loud, in their mind, them say, Yes, that's a strong warrior God. That man's strong mentally, yo, general. That man's strong. Even though them don't want to admit it, because them don't want you basically use that against them. But you don't need to hear them admit that. you supposed to know and have the confidence within yourself. For you know, say, Yo, your brain power. Stronger than, than for them brain power. Why? Because the spirit and the Lord I work with you and now work with them. Simple mathematics. For it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest that any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. So yeah, the devil, even the devil himself, I go come and quote precepts. Yahushua said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. So when, when the devil quote precepts, yeah man, you can quote but precept on him. 
hold back precept because a lot of people love to quote precept but they don't understand. And say, yo, the Bible say enough to do that. And the Bible say enough to do that. Just to try to in your brain. But as we say, application. Because them don't know the scriptures. Them don't know how to apply them real without understanding. But the Spirit and the Lord, they on the real sins. And we have the understanding. Don't make them lower your frequency. Don't make them weak your mind. That are your power, that are your strength. Because the devil can de defeat the body, you know. But if you can't defeat the mind, if you can't defeat the soul, if you can't defeat nothing. Because the, the body is just vanity. So literally, that's like nothing. You call that as nothing, as vanity. Don't make him come to your mind. Number one priority. Devil take it him up into an exceeding high mountain and show it him the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. So the devil I will come with you, come to you and offer you the world of things. He might go say yo, just fall under my umbrella and me give you Ben, Bima, everything. Because he wants to turn you in a faggot like himself. Right? The white man will offer you vanities to switch up your mind from God to lead you in a theme part which is the part of destruction it's a constant battle out here the war is not over until it's fucking over war until death again the devil taking him up into an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them so, I'm going to show you the kingdom of the world, the kingdoms of the world, and show you the glory behind them. So, I'm going to show you how people are going to glorify you. The riches, when you have that power, how many attractions are going to depend on you. How many fear bitches are going to run for your riches. Because they're not run for you. They're going to run for where you are. So, where's the glory in that? When you fight for the kingdom of God, in that kingdom, Women are going to die in the right order and they are going to love you and not the vanity. They are going to enjoy the vanity, yes. But the main priority are going to be you in this kingdom, right? This battle white man kingdom. Basically, them first. Not every one of them, you know. Let me clarify that. Majority of them, the main priority of vanity upon vanity upon vanity. That's why them go to, from them pass from man to man to man to man to man. They let count many men Because as one broke He leave that she leave that one day And go to the next one As soon as system is set up As soon as the Batman set it up For them wicked ass People are pride for the wickedness yeah. And Satan to him All these things will I give thee If thou will fall down And worship me So the Batman white man why you bow down and worship him right now? But we don't worship a father. Right? We worship Yahweh. But Hashem Yahweh Shah. Yahweh the Father's name. Yahweh Shah the Son's name. We don't worship a Batman. The white man is a fucking flaming father. But the Lord will get rid of him. Plain and straight. And Satan to him, all these things will I give thee. If thou wilt fall down and worship me, then said Yahweh unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt not worship, Thou shalt worship Salakia, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, And him only shall thou serve. So that will tell the white man, Fuck off. Plain and straight, No bribe. Move. So will tell him, him know, him read with body language All of the things when him try, when him attempt to do Him read your body language and know hey, Him know the way you are But him boy know that Then the devil leave him And behold, he just came and ministered unto him Say, see, 
When you resist the devil, you must run out of town. Run! I'm gonna fuck around this my And if him keep on fuck around you, that's alright. As long as him not conquer your mind. But we are speak about everything alright, everything well put together. It's just a word with prophecy. And you are word with prophecy. Don't make it. Don't make the Batman conquer your mind. War him. Spiritually. We're not talking about physical warfare. Spiritual warfare. War. Fucking hell. Next thing. You notice. You notice that after you all shy fast. You have dangers of fasting. Right, and you have benefits of fasting. The danger is basically when you are fast, if you're not mentally prepared and have that faith to say yes, you not eat until the appointed time. We agree with the Lord saying, Lord, me are fasting such and such a time. If you not make up your mind, and that day when you are fast, you know what will happen to you? Basically, the Lord will work it out. So here we go on. People in your house or friends come along with barbecue or whatsoever and it never come to you from week. But as you choose to fast, at that point in time it come. If you break that fast, the amount of demon will jump on you. Because your mind gets weak at that moment in time and demon attack you. Right? So that is one major danger in a fasting. No major benefit in a fasting right now. If you can say yeah at the appointed time before me eat. So if you hold off until that point in time, you know what you do? You put the body in subjection and make the body know say, hey, the spirit in control. So guess what? Your mind mentally stronger and stronger each time you do that. Because your mind accepts it, say, yeah, you achieve the appointed time where you say, where you agree with the Lord for, I hit your go-to. So you feel, it grow your mind. Hey, when you, when you set things and do it, you achieve it, it grow your mind with confidence. It makes you stronger. It changes the countenance. It changes everything. Because you stay true to your word, loyalty. That's why people are bad mind. That's why people are dishonest. Demons, break them because them conscience against them. But when you have loyalty, honesty, your mind free, so you're strong enough to go through with a pure heart. You're firm in a bubble heart. when you have a clean mind and pure heart. Walk with that and glorify God. Fuck this world. Fucking hell.